Hello biologists, today we're going to talk about nucleic acids and ATP, that's quiz 221 and 223. We're going to answer the question, got DNA? And yes you do, it's deoxyribonucleic acid and everyone's got DNA. We're going to look at two molecules today primarily, the RNA and DNA. You can see there are some differences here and there are some similarities. They're both nucleic acids. They both have a sugar phosphate backbone that keeps them all stuck together. But they look a little bit differently. Let's look at some of the differences between RNA, that's ribonucleic acid, and deoxyribonucleic acid, that's DNA. DNA is double-stranded. It's got two parts to it, two sides, like a ladder. It's got the bases guanine, cysteine, adenine, and thiamine, which is different than RNA, which has uracil. DNA is really, really long. One piece of DNA is about three meters. That's longer than your couch. It's packed up very tightly to fit in the nucleus of your cells. The sugar in the sugar phosphate backbone in DNA is deoxyribose. The sugar in RNA is ribose. And that's what makes DNA DNA is the deoxyribose nucleic acid, where RNA is ribo ribonucleic acid. It's, they're named for their different sugars in the sugar phosphate backbone. Let's look at some similarities. They both do have a sugar phosphate backbone, although it's a little bit different. They're different sugars. And they both have base pairs. But in DNA, their base pairs, in RNA, the, the base doesn't have a pair here. So there's some similarities and differences between RNA, that's ribonucleic acid, and DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid. RNA helps build proteins outside the nucleus. This happens in the ribosome. RNA actually makes up part of the ribosome, all of the ribosome, plus there's transfer RNA that works with the ribosome to build protein structures. So the nucleic acids make up the ribosome and they help build proteins which are part of the structure of your body. In the last video we talked about collagen which makes up the structure of your nose, ears, and eyeballs. That collagen gets made in the ribosome which is made out of nucleic acids, ribonucleic acid. Nucleic acids contain information for making those proteins which make your body. So nucleic acids make protein. DNA makes RNA, which makes protein. That all happens in the ribosome. And here is the RNA, that's the code telling the ribosome how to make this protein, and that protein makes up your body structure. So nucleic acids contain information for making and maintaining body structures. Let's talk about another class of biological molecules. Uh, just a biological molecule it's very important that gets it it's one molecule get it but it gets its very own category in our curriculum adenosine triphosphate you couldn't live without it it provides all of the energy for the cell adenosine triphosphate is named for the three phosphate groups just like a tricycle has three wheels adenosine triphosphate has three phosphate groups when you break off a phosphate group, you break this very high energy bond here. Energy is released for your cell to use, and it turns into ADP, which stands for adenosine diphosphate, which di stands for two. The ATP stays in your cell. Glucose comes to your cell through the bloodstream and gets made into ATP, and that ATP is used in your cell. So glucose and ATP are different. Glucose travels within the body. Glucose goes, that's why I highlighted the G and the O. Glucose goes around the body in the bloodstream. It comes to your cell, gets made into ATP, and that ATP stays in the cell. It's made in the cell, it's used in the cell. 
it's glucose that travels. So glucose goes into blood or in the case of plants in the xylem and phloem as part of the plant juice that runs around the plant. In animals and plant cells ATP stays put. It's made in the mitochondria within an animal or plant cell or bacteria cell and it stays there. Your liver does tons of reactions and your body in general does tons of reactions. These are some of the all some of the reactions that go on in your liver and most of these reactions are powered by ATP. Your body needs ATP to do all the amazing biochemistry that it does. So ATP is very important in making your body run because it powers a lot of important reactions that make you able to live, breathe, and run around. The way you get energy out of ATP once it's made in the cell is you break this high energy phosphate bond between the second and third phosphate that releases a lot of energy and remember that all happens within the cell. Glucose gets delivered to your cells and then ATP is made in the cells from a pro process called uh, glycolysis and a bunch of other processes too. Um, and it's complicated but we won't talk about that let's just talk about how important ATP is for making your cell run. It's your gas, it's, it's what the energy currency of the cell is. It's how you get things done in a cell. All right, now you know everything you need to know to take the 221 quiz and the 223 quiz. Thanks for listening.